Any supercar is basically a custom work of art that represents the genius of automotive engineers and the pinnacle of designers' talents. However, just like with mass-market automobiles, supercars pose no boundaries for further customization opportunities and creation of one-of-a-kind builds. This episode will focus on the lineup of modified performance autos and the rarest handcrafted car specimen that will stand out from the crowd at any supercar meet and belong to true collector's items. You're watching Automotive Territory Daily News. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and let's start the engines! Ferrari P80C Built by the Ferrari Special Project Unit, the supercar is a modern tribute to the 330 P3 and P4 race cars of the 1960s. The P80C has been in the works since 2015, meaning that it had the longest development period in the history of the Ferrari's one-offs. This model is a pure track car that is based on the Ferrari 488 GT3 chassis. Its body is made completely out of carbon fiber, with the rear part having almost no bodywork. As this vehicle was developed specifically for track, even its headlights and taillights are reduced to slits in the fascia to save weight. The drivetrain is also rumored to come from the GT3, delivering around 660 horses of max output. Maguari HS1 GTC Unlike the recently revealed all-electric carman hypercar designed by the Spanish Hispano Suiza, the Maguari was created by another Swiss-based firm that also claims the rights for the legendary nameplate. The design of this automobile is developed by the company's owner, Irvin Himmel, in cooperation with the famous French automotive designer, Olivier Boulay, who previously worked on Porsche and Maybach models. Under the car's hood sits a 5.2-liter twin-turbo V10, enhanced by two electric compressors, delivering the maximum output of 1,085 horses and 775 pound-feet of torque. According to the creators, this powertrain will enable the Maguari to get to 62 miles per hour and 2.8 seconds and reach the maximum speed of 236 mph. Only 300 units of the model will be produced, and all of them will be custom-built to order starting in 2020. Bugatti Lavatour Noir Claimed to be the most expensive new car ever built, this one-of-a-kind Bugatti is a modern interpretation of the legendary all-black Type 57 SC Atlantic that was lost during the World War II. Design-wise, the supercar is reminiscent of the Chiron and Tivo, but it has plenty of unique features. These include the pronounced horseshoe grille, LED headlights that finish on top of its wheel arches, six exhaust tips, and full-width LED brake light strip. The car's bodywork is all carbon fiber, and all the components are built by hand. The Lavatour Noir is brought to life by the familiar 8.0-liter W16 that delivers 1500 horsepower and almost 1200 pound-feet of torque. For those of you who enjoy our format and would like to watch more informative videos, we will leave some links with suggestions on the screen and in the description. Follow them after finishing this video. Let's keep going! Ferrari 812 Superfast by Navitac Navitac is a German company headquartered in Staten, Bavaria, who specializes in tuning of Italian, British and with the latest upgrades of Tesla, American cars. One of their recent works is the updated Ferrari 812 Superfast, which received even more aggressive looks and some performance upgrades to boost the levels of Super even higher. The Vossen 22-inch wheels up front and 22s at the rear have replaced the original set. The springs were further lowered by 35mm, which resulted in the better center of gravity. The new exhaust made of Inconel Super Alloy shed 24 pounds on the scales, which is a great achievement for a supercar when every ounce counts and improves power to weight ratio. For now, this Ferrari 6.2 liter V12 still outputs 789 horsepower and 530 pound feet of torque, but Navitec has promised to rework the engine as well. BMW Evo i8S in Army Edition The Japanese aftermarket tuning company Energy Motorsport is absolutely nuts about upgrading all kinds of BMWs, and they were among the first to enhance the plug-in hybrid i8 in the form of Evo 8 and the Dark Knight Edition. The latest modification project 
was completed in cooperation with the local tuner Efren, released in April 2019. It is based on the BMW i8 Roadster and carries the label Evo i8S in Army Edition. The obvious upgrades of the XTR up front include a new front apron with large air intakes, a front spoiler, side mirror caps, and enormous wheel arches. As for the rear, there is also a new apron, a gigantic carbon fiber diffuser and a wing. The powertrain remains unchanged and is represented by a plug-in hybrid setup that outputs combined 374 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. Alfa Romeo 4C by Bogea Racing Bogea Racing is a German automotive design and tuning firm that has been on the market since 1997, customizing various car makes and models per the customer's order. Among the most recent projects carried out by the company are the two Alfa Romeo 4C modifications called Centurion 007, aka the Green Arrow, and 008, aka the Royal Mystique. Unlike many previous works of the tuner, which were much more reserved in appearance, both models grab your attention instantly by their bright green and violet exteriors and carbon fiber bodywork. The interiors of the cars are finished in the same color schemes and are upholstered using the finest leather and Alcantara. The Centurions keep the original Alfa Romeo's powertrain that is tuned to deliver 332 horses. TR Speed 12 The story of the TR supercar had begun in 1996, when it was developed as a prototype TVR Cerbera Speed 12 and then scrapped by the request of the then-company owner Peter Wheeler, who deemed it too powerful for public roads. Since such reasons not to produce a car would be considered absurd today, the former engineers of this British independent car company went ahead and finished the prototype. It is now being prepared for the limited production run, with each unit being custom modified as per the buyer's preferences. Under the gigantic hood, the TR Speed 12 hides the Aston Martin sourced 6 liter V12 twin turbo boosted to make 1026 horsepower, ensuring 2.9 seconds 0 to 60 time and 218 mph top speed. Jaguar F-Type Lister LFT666 Known for their 1950s Jaguar-based Nobly Racers and the 1993 Storm Supercar, in 2019 the British sports car manufacturer is coming back to the market with very exclusive and very powerful production model. The new LFT666 has a limited production of 99 units that began their lives as a Jaguar F-Type revised by the Lister team. To lose weight and improve aerodynamics, the cars are wearing in-house designed carbon fiber body elements and lighter alloy wheels wrapped in Michelin tires. The cabin of the F-Type is also redesigned, featuring new seats and updated steering wheel. As before, Lister decided to stick to the original Jaguar powertrain but re-engineered the supercharged 5.0 liter V8 to output 666 horses. Mercedes-AMG GTR by Fasla Tuners like German Fasla are simply convinced that 585 horsepower that makes the stock version of the Mercedes-AMG GTR is simply not enough. So they had no other choice but to boost the output to the nice and even 650 HP mark plus the torque parameter also get a kick to 568 pound-feet. As a result, the 4.0 liter twin turbo improved at 0 to 60 time to 3 seconds and has broken the 200 mph barrier. Interestingly, these specs actually align the German with the new icon of performance, Huracan Performante. On the outside, the GTR Fasla was dressed up with a Stage 1 performance kit and got a BMC racing filter. Moreover, the car was wrapped with a bright vinyl livery to stand out from the crowd. McLaren 720S and Largo by Navitac For many drivers, the 720S Coupe is already an ideal supercar with incredible power-to-weight ratio, warp speed acceleration and outstanding driving dynamics. But just take a look at the N Largo by Navitac, which manages to look even better 
is considerably more powerful and faster. The installed carbon fiber aero package gives the automobile a wider stance and the custom suspension pins it 1.4 inches closer to the ground, lowering the center of gravity. The stock 4.0 liter V8 received 100 horses upgrade, slicing off 0.2 seconds when getting to 60. To be exact, the current time is mere 2.7 seconds. With the new exhaust pipes, the engine got a new voice with additional grunts. Now the tank is prepared to build only 15 720S in Largos, making them one of the rarest supercars in the world. Did you like these rare automobiles and do you think that supercars should be further modified by their owners? For example, I'm convinced that there is no limit to perfection and if custom tuners know what they're doing, their creations can be much cooler than the stock models. Tap the icons on the screen to watch another video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you later!